tell me. Okay, this is Al, Rocket Pool Industries. This is this 98 Dyna that, that we just talked about a minute ago. Now, this guy took a pretty good hit in the front end. In fact, you can see where his down tubes were back and his numbers were off up here. But all of his down tubes, everything was all back and it was all twisted up here and it hit the motor and his neck angle was off by nine tenths of a degree. We got all that kind of dialed in, but it wasn't, it wasn't hitting the numbers the way it's supposed to. It wasn't perfect. So it turns out that when this gentleman hit a car, the car pulled out in front of him, and he, uh, he hit the car at about 25, 30 miles an hour. Well, at that speed, and the weight of the motorcycle, and the inertia from the back wheel, it shoved everything back here. It shoved it forward and down a little bit, because the wheel is rolling forward. So the inertia from this caused additional damage that you can't see with the naked eye. So we got the straight shooter on here, and it, <laughs> believe it or not, it pointed out a couple of things that were wrong that we would have never thought to look for. So just keep in mind that when you're working on a bike and it gets hit in the front end, a lot of times the weight of the motorcycle and the inertia of the back wheel will cause additional damage. You gotta keep an eye out for that. Now we've got it all pulled around. We're getting ready to do its drive train alignment. And this bike's going to handle like it's on rails. That's what we do here at Rock and Pull.